Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to briefly go over the birdie shuffle and how to construct it fairly quickly. It's not extremely complicated. It sounds more complicated than it is. But here is the finished product so you know where we're going. Okay. If you're not familiar with this beat, um, what are you doing here? And uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, if you're not very familiar with this beat, go check out uh, Bernard Birdie's or Purdy's actual video on how to do it. Uh, just do a YouTube search. I'll actually include a link, uh, a link in the comments. Uh, just go check that out so you're familiar with the beat, and then that way a lot of this will make more sense. So we're going to start with the hi-hat down here. I'm using uh, SSD5 to do this. Uh, this will also work in Logic Stock plugins as well, so no worries there. Let's listen to the hi-hat. Okay, so that's that's where part of the shuffle comes from. Um, to start, just make sure you have four quarter notes laid out like that, and then you have your sort of triplet ghost fills down here. If you're able to play drums, uh, it's just a simple shuffle beat. Just like that. So just lay that down and then and then quantize. Uh, I used one thirty second triplet quantization to, to get everything lined up. So when you get that, just double check the fill. These down here you can kind of move forward backwards a little bit. There it's kind of forgiving, but just make sure that these are on beat up here. That's very important. Next we move to the kick. Okay. Oh, I, I forgot to mention velocities. Like, make sure these are very light down here. These are harder, and these are light. If you're familiar with logic, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, this will work in any DAW, though. Just be sure to adjust your velocity settings to minimal, as you can see here. And then these, these are much harder. Same thing up here on the kick. Uh, this one is a harder hit, and while well, these two are softer right here. Uh, so let's listen one more time. Okay, so you got that kind of a triplet feel happening now. You got your shuffle beat going, and then you fill in this space here with a couple of quick uh, triplets. Make sure those are quantized, okay? Okay, you'll notice how I have these a little bit ahead of the beat, and it's because usually in shuffle beats they're kind of pushed uh, to, you know, add that sort of uh, bouncy kind of uh, flavor to it, so if you if you slightly offset your hits it's actually going to give it a little bit of push even though it is still on time but it's just slightly ahead making it feel like it's more pushed that's that's actually important in any shuffle beat you want to have it just a little bit ahead of the beat so uh, yeah the kick is basically just kinda um, straight up just with the triplet, so da 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 Listen one more time. Okay, and then check your velocity settings again. Make sure that these two little quick ones are are you know lower in velocity. 
You're good. Okay, the snare. Let's listen to this. Okay, so, snare. You got two major downbeats. Okay. Um, make sure uh, those are lined up first. It's just... Um, every half note basically so three four two three four one two three four one two three four right like on every three you have a, a snare hit and then in between you have uh, like the hi-hat you got some ghost notes that are going on that, that give it that shuffle feel so we're doing a, a quick triplet. So we got kick, hi-hat, and then the, the snare shuffle is a little bit delayed, making a triplet. So it's like, right? It's very important to kick it off. That's like if we just loop this over and over again, you'll hear Okay, so you got that down, you got your down, you know, the, the snare on the three there, and then you got a couple another quick triplets right in here as well, right? This one's just kind of for flavor, that's, that's optional, it'll sound fine without it. And then you got uh, another one right here. So this time it's with the snare and the kick that are doing the triplet. So if you line everything up right, you should have a triplet uh, in every bar, basically. So that's basic. That's it. That's the that's the pretty shuffle. Um, it's a very fun beat. I'm going to actually have the MIDI tracks available for download. Uh, check the link in the video. Absolutely free, no problem. Just download it, have fun, play around, make your own variation. Uh, and if you appreciate what I'm doing, uh, maybe drop me a Patreon support or a Venmo. That'd be appreciated always helps. Thanks for watching and uh, give me a like and a comment if you if you enjoyed it. Take care.